adventurers. Of course, I have Patty here with us from the G team. Hi, everyone. We're at a mausoleum that I haven't been to in probably about two and a half years. Jen's never been into this mausoleum. And as soon as we walked in, Jen got touched. Didn't have our cameras on, but we do now. We're yeah. hoping that something's gonna, you know, something's gonna happen. I have my rim pod set up right over there, hoping that it goes off. We're gonna try to summons the spirits to make that go off. It's a really interesting smell. It smells like dead flowers in here, guys. It's a really distinct smell. Distinct and stinky. <laughs> wow, look at the rays from my flashlight. That looks it really looks like weird. It's trying to go dead. Your flashlights. What? Dimming and stuff. You're right. You're hearing something. What do you hear? What is it? Oh, no. Oh, you're blurring. Am I? Now it's better. What? What? Really? Yeah, it was bad. Wow. All right, guys. So we have the REM pod set up over here, too. So we're just going to keep an eye out for that and see if that goes off for us. I just heard something move next to me. Yeah. You could always make that light up, too. This device right here will sense you near it. The closer you get to it, it will go off. So if you want to do that, that would be great. That will show us that you're here and that you want to talk. Can one of you touch the REM pod? Let's get really close to it for us. It just felt like a, a breeze in front of me. I, I know. I feel it like coming up the back side of me here. What? Yeah, it just felt like a breeze coming up the back side of me here. Here comes Heather. Okay. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Heather, it's okay. Yep, it's Heather and Greg and Greg's mother. Okay. We've got the rim pod right here. Oh, wow, nice and cold in here. Do you smell that though, Heather? It's like a. It's like a, a smell of death and flowers mixture. Yeah, so I'll show you something a little disturbing. If you look oh, at the this one? This wall, when we were in here, they might have cleaned it up, but it was, which one was it, babe? This one? Yeah. They cleaned it. Oh, but yeah, you see that dripping awesome down there? there. The body oh, fluids, I believe, yeah. from this one right here. Look in there, you can see it. How it's shiny in there. Oh, yeah. It was literally dripping, like oh. overflowing. With my body. It was like that in the other one too, the one in the back. Was it? On one of them, yeah. So when we were in here last time, Mom, this door, we were standing, we had the camera facing the door, and it went. What? It was like that. Yeah, it was like that. 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 I need to start filming this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sound like said lights. Yeah. You heard that? It said lights. Uh huh. Thank you so much for lighting it up. You light it all the way up. All the lights. Get real close to it. Do you know who we are? Can you say our names right now? We have all kinds of meters in here. Can you make any of them go off? Why is it that when we turn our back, we're not focusing on the meter and you light it up? What was it? What happened, Jen? Keep hearing the door, the door, like making a sound. When I filmed here about three years ago, there was all kinds of noise around that door right there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic real quick. See if anybody wants to talk to us, and hopefully they will light up the REM pod over here. They did it a couple times already, but it seems like every time they do it, I kind of just miss it. So hopefully they'll do it for us. All right, I am reaching out to the spirit world. Got Patty here, the paranormal queen. So, you know, we got to get some activity. <laughs> Y'all come say what's up to the queen. What? What did it say? 
All right, who do we have with us? Hi there, everyone. Guess what? I just heard a whisper in my ear, but I'm not even kidding. What did they say? I don't know, I just heard, I just heard a whisper. Who's whispering in Patty's ear? Hello, who is that? Susan? <gasps> Look how blurry it was. That's my aunt's name and she's buried in here. What? Aunt Susan, is that you? Up there somewhere. I'm just so dark in here, I can't remember. That was crazy. She's right up there somewhere. Yeah, Susan, was that you? Patty. Oh my god. Hi. It said, is paranormal. What? What do you want to say to Patty? It just said Raptor Adventures. It sure sounded like it. I just saw something like fly through the air in front of me, like a little orb or something. Yeah. I've never seen one with my eye before. It's pretty incredible when you do. Was that an orb that I just saw? How many spirits are in here with us right now? I'm having a hard time hearing because of the air conditioning. Yeah. Can you turn the air conditioning off for us? It's at Lisa. Okay, can you light up the REM pod? Listening. It said listening. Well, if any of you want to continue to talk to us, you're welcome to follow us to the next area that we're visiting here at the cemetery, but you're not allowed to follow us home. You want to make that rim pod light up before we leave? Right there. Oh, I'm blurring really bad. All right. Do you want to go ahead and light up the rim pod for me? Go ahead and touch it for me, please. That sounded dirty. <laughs> that did. That actually really did. All right, guys, I'm just gonna see if maybe something wants to touch the REM pod. Can you touch the REM pod for me? Light it up. <gasps> What's that? That's me. No, this thing is moving over here. Oh my God. So I was just walking up to you guys and yeah. um, like something touched my arm. <laughs> When I come around the corner right there, like it, I stopped for a second to check a notification on my phone and it freaking like somebody went with their fingers. Oh. I was like, Did they scratch you? I wasn't recording or nothing. Whoa, okay. What happened over here? Did it scratch you though? I don't think so, but it like went like this with its fingers. Like oh, somebody, wow. I thought it was Greg messing oh, with me. Oh my God. And he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't even out. He's over Whoa. there with his phone. Crazy. There is all kinds of craziness happening over here. This thing is still moving. Right when you were walking in, I think there was a there was a noise coming from up here somewhere. This this cross is moving. This rosary. Oh wow, that's crazy. I was literally like right here, right when I busted this corner. This is where I was standing, and I kept, I stopped for a second right here and was like looking at my phone because mm -hmm. I had a notification come through. And this is where like, it felt like something dragged their fingers across my arm. Oh, wow. Oh my God, it was so creepy. Wow. I was, like, you were on your I was out by myself. They're up here on the corner. Shh. So yeah, I was like, oh my God, and I freaking darted inside. It was me and Omar, and we saw something like a white figure move right in front of that door while we were inside there. I heard a moan. Did you hear that? Wow, guys, look at this. This is a historical Indian burial ground. What? Oh, look. Oh, get back over here and film, Heather. Oh, of course, right when I turn my camera on. Can you touch the REM pod again? Yes. 
Okay, I just put the rim pod on top of the Indian mound that's here at the cemetery and it immediately started going crazy. Come on, do that again. All right, guys, so Patty and I are rolling through the cemetery to see what we catch back here. She said she actually caught some apparitions back here previously. So we are gonna see what we see. Wow, the, the wind got really strong. It did, yeah. What? That's crazy. Is it raining? I don't know, I keep seeing these things coming out of the sky. Looks like drops, or maybe it's orbs, I don't know. Might be. For all I know, it could be orbs. This is the mausoleum that we've gotten a lot of activity out of. Um, not really gonna go in there tonight. That's the area that we saw somebody on camera walking through the woods. Wow. It was the craziest thing ever. We didn't see anybody, but it was caught on camera. And it looked like a real person. I mean, it really did. Unless, But maybe it wasn't. And, yeah, exactly. Because you would have heard something exactly. probably. Exactly. That's what we were saying at the time. Like, okay, how did we miss that? How did we not see somebody walk right in front of us? You could see the tennis shoes. You could see mm. the baggy, the baggy jean looking shorts. You could see the legs. You could see the bottom half of the shirt. Wow. That Because we got them from like the waist down. But you could see it, you know? And that was right in there. I'll never forget. That was like two and a half years ago. Since the last time I was here, they've got this all fixed up very beautifully. Wow, that is so pretty. This is a very nice cemetery. It's very peaceful here. I get a very peaceful vibe. Mm -hmm. For sure. I think what goes on in that mausoleum, I mean, there's been some crazy things going on in there. I just think somebody at one point stirred up something there and really crazy. Really? Yeah, I, I heard rumor that a while back somebody went in there and stirred up some demons, you know, conjuring up some demons oh. and stuff. And um, a lot of people have told me about it. Yeah, it is creepy, guys. It's really creepy out here. Yeah. See, oh, my gosh. It's very creepy back in here. Look at this. It's beautiful during the daytime, but you know, it doesn't matter. Any cemetery is creepy at night. It doesn't matter where it's at. Do you know that until we met you, we had never been to a cemetery at night? I know. Spring Hill Cemetery was our very first cemetery mm -hmm. at night, which, <laughs> let me tell you what, that one will break you in. <laughs> yes, that was definitely a creepy night. If you haven't seen that video, you should go on to it. This is beautiful, though. It is very beautiful. See this, I like this. I like the whole privacy sections. Yeah. You know, your own little private area. We are here in front of the Indian burial ground where we just were a little bit ago. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on the necrophonic. We're just, and Patty and I are just sitting here in the car. And there's Patty, blinded by the light. <laughs> we're sitting here in the car because the bugs are bad here in Florida right now because of the summertime. Um, we're alone now because Heather and Greg and them left. Plus, we just don't feel like walking this big cemetery. So we're just going to sit in the car and we got the lights shining right here on the mound. Well, you know, I have a feeling that they're going to make communication with us tonight. Get this out of the way. Whoa, what was that? Wasn't that you? No. What? Okay, so we have... Oh, my camera does keep getting really blurry. Look. I know. It's like it's trying to focus on something out there. Look. We are not even moving. I'm going to put my window up too. I, I feel like I need to. I window up right now. Uh -uh, Make sure the, the door's doors. locked. The doors are locked. Let's kick the air off at least one little notch. Oh, wait. Let me turn on the necrophonic. Look at that. Oh, look, Jen. Look, Jen. Oh, damn. What man. is going on? I don't Why? know, but I'm going to turn on the necrophonic. We're going to find out what's okay. going on here. It is right Why is there. My battery it's like it's trying to zoom in. Why is my battery hit? Now, to? Jen fixed the setting on my camera. All right, let's turn on the necrophonic and yeah. see what we get. Jen fixed my camera, is what I was trying to say. There it goes again. It's got real blurry. Look. What? 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 Look. Who's here with us? 
Um, it said Indians. It did. What? Hi. Indian. Indian again. <gasps> oh my God. Do you guys want to talk to us? We come in peace. We are both part Indian. We have Indian in our in our blood. Okay, are you in the car with us here? Looks like it. It said yes. The necrophonic said yes. Can you do that again just so we can be sure that you're here with us? This is so crazy. My camera keeps it's almost like I'm gonna pick it up and oh, it was sitting on the dash. I'm gonna pick it up for a minute. Let's see if it still does it. Yep, it's still doing it. Can you light this rim pot up again if you're in this car with us? Come light it up again. Come touch it. Coming? I don't want to come to that. It's okay, it's not going to hurt you. Medicine? Were you a medicine man? Animal? How many Indians are buried in that mound right there? Can you tell me? Bad blood? Is that what they said? I think so. I'm so sorry that they buried you guys like that. That's that's shameful. It makes me really sad. You deserve better. Yeah, you deserved a lot better than that to be just thrown in a big pile like that. I think it said sad spirits. I know. But I know that you guys are all in a better place now, right? Mound. Mm -hmm. What? I don't know. I heard something behind us. Should we go? Yeah. I kind of am getting a bad feeling, actually. We had a really bad feeling at the same time. Um... I didn't feel like I could get out of there fast enough. I turned my camera off and just got out of that area. Uh, we're still in the cemetery. But what's weird is I had a vision in my mind. You know how you get those visions like something's going to happen. And you, you know, you just your mind kind of goes crazy. I felt like somebody was going to walk up to Jen's side of the, the window there, the side of the car, and look in the window. I just felt like I was going to turn around and see a face. Well, Jen just told me that she felt like she was going to have somebody uh, looking in the window. Like, yeah. we just got that same feeling at the same time without telling each other. I mean, it's... it's it was bothering me. Like, sometimes I'll have a fleeting thought like that, but it was bothering me to the point where I felt like I had to say something. Yeah. It was making she, me uneasy. And when she did, I was like, oh my God, I just had that vision too. That's why I took Tell them what happened quick. when you guys <laughs> freaked out. What happened? I don't remember now. With your coffee? Oh, my coffee went everywhere. All over my new car. I freaked We're going to clean it up, though. We're going to get it cleaned up. It's going to be fine. And that's how freaked out I got. Because I literally it was bad. felt like we were in danger. Like there was going to be not a, not a spirit, a real person. Yeah. And with everything going on in this crazy world today. People have lost their minds. never know. What? Is it this? The spear box? Yeah. Did it say Jen? It said Jen. Dude, I could have sworn I just heard footsteps. Should we leave? Something there. What? Did you hear that? Whoa, what the hell? I was trying to back up and it beeped like there was something behind us. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, hell no. It beeped like there was something behind us. And it just said something was there. 
Oh my god. It just said something was there and it beep. It said beep. Oh. oh my god, what is going on out here? What the hell? Your camera something. Yes. Did my camera pick it up? Did I catch anything on camera, you think? What was that? I don't know. What the hell was that? Pizza. Pizza? Man, pizza does kind of sound good right now. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I am blurring out like nobody's business. Look at this. Yeah, you are. Oh, now it just came back into... That's what my camera was doing the other night. All right, if there's any spirits here, you can't stay with us. You got to go. Oh. What? I could have sworn I just seen somebody walking this way. What? Yes. Where? Way back there. Here, light them up. Light them up, Patty. It looked like somebody was walking over there. See anything? No, I don't see it now. Is somebody back there walking? <laughs> Who's walking behind us? Ah. Well, that sounded bad. <laughs> Was somebody getting ready to walk up on us? Was somebody going to look in my window? <gasps> Somebody's going to look in the window. Did you hear that? I think I just heard that, yes. What the hell? Uh, Y'all need to say no more. We're out of here. We are up <laughs> out of here. Hell? I just heard that. It sounded like it was very distant. Yes. Who's watching out for us? Andrew. Who's Andrew? <laughs> That's weird how it was backing up and, and that happened. I know. I put my backup cam. I'm going to do it again. Let's it see. said back. It did, didn't it? Let's back up again and see if it does that shit again. So that's my brakes. They're so new that they're like squeaking. They're new. Oh and they my said God. they're new. It's like they repeat some of the stuff that we say. Is there somebody back there? Hey. It's a Patty. Do you have a message for Patty? <gasps> Why is it doing that? Who's behind the car? <laughs> Me. What? What's your name? I whoa! What was that? Like I ran over something. I don't know. Let's get the hell out of here. That's too much weird. All right, guys, we are up out of here. So much fun tonight filming with you, Patty. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh no problem. Anytime. Lisa's at home, puppy sitting, guys. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions. Where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? She's yeah. watching Athena. They got the new baby now. So and the other. Stay home with the new baby. Yeah. All right. Love you guys, and we'll see you on our next. Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.